their child eats. That's because they know the wrong food could spell disaster for their little one. Well, now an Ottawa doctor is using an experimental technique to try to cure peanut allergies. CTV's Kate Egans has the story. You can okay. start eating one at a time. Okay. Nicholas Fortura is doing something that once might have killed him. Many people gobble up sweets like peanut M&Ms, but not Nicholas. So that's four already? Every bite is a challenge. It takes him two and a half minutes to eat 13. That's more than I've eaten. Yeah, that's the most. Nicholas has a serious peanut allergy. He has spent his entire life doing everything to avoid peanuts. Until now. We still have a ways to go, but at least this is very encouraging. Dr. Anthony Hampong is trying to cure Nicholas's peanut allergy. The allergist slowly increases the number of peanuts a patient eats over a couple of years. You start at one eighth hundredth of a peanut. Then you increase every day or every week. So what I'm going to do now is to do an allergy test of the peanut. Ham Pong is the only doctor in Ottawa using the experimental technique. It actually cures about one in seven people. The rest are able to tolerate some peanuts without a reaction. The treatment can also be used for egg and milk allergies. That means you no longer have to be afraid of foods that say may contain nuts. You don't really have to read labels now. You know that if you eat something containing peanut accidentally, you won't react. There. Nicholas was diagnosed with the allergy when he was 16 months old. His parents have had to be extremely vigilant to protect him. This treatment is changing that. It gives us confidence that he's, he's getting well and that we don't have to worry so much about him having a reaction inadvertently. So your peanut reaction in the test is smaller. It suggests that the peanut desensitization is working. Now Nicholas and his family can spend more time enjoying food and less time reading labels. Kate Egan, CTV News.